Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Link's Awakening. Last time, we did some housekeeping. We played some mini games, had some fun. But we gotta put put in some actual work today. We ventured east in the Taltal Heights region previously. And that was to get us set up for our trip to the Eagle's Tower, the seventh dungeon. So heading west, the opposite direction this time around is what's required to, excuse you, is what's required for progress into the eighth dungeon. It's not really a difficult path to get there. It's literally just heading the opposite direction from the way that we went the first time. So it's not too bad. There will be some time spent in between. I guess I could have warped there. There is going to be some time spent in between the 8th dungeon and then the final boss. Oh, that's nice. I forgot that the mirror shield bounces projectiles back at the enemies. That's nice. Nice little touch. So, in between the 8th dungeon and the finale, we're going to be doing a bit of a collect-a-thon. There is a bonus item that you can get if you collect enough of the secret seashells, which in the original game was capped at 20. However, in this game, it has been boosted to 40 because the overall total of seashells possible in this game is 50. So you gotta be 10 shy of the final mark. So in that episode, we're probably gonna collect all of that as much as we can that's available for progress. <clears throat> and then once that's done, we'll make sure that we are fully kitted out for what we're going to be doing. So coming over here, previously we headed east. This time around though, we're going to be heading west. Total Rock is the one remaining place on our map that we have not been able to explore. It's that covered up area there. Excuse you, out of my way, pardon me. Okay, game's already trying to phone it in for me. Thank you. So we're gonna use our hook shot and cross this state. Oh, Marin? Somehow Marin wound up getting herself stuck. Some monsters put her up here. Okay. I was going to say, I'm not entirely sure how she would have made that. But easily taken care of. No damsel in distress today. Blink's the man. Uh, Terran, spoiling the romantic moment. You just got rooster blocked. That's unfortunate. Poor Link. He was this close. He's just like, what happened? I feel you, buddy. So that's kind of some cryptic, vague heads up on what you have to do. Very helpful. Thanks, Owl. You can head down immediately if you go that direction. That just pops you back into the area right next to where the windfish egg is. But we've got more adventuring to do. Excuse you. I don't like your attitude, sir. So you can bomb that wall down here. You can head this way. And finally, we can collect that piece of heart. So that's pretty exciting. I believe we have three quarters. Great. So our next piece of heart will net us another heart container. I don't think we're going to pick that up until the next episode. I don't believe there's any between... Well, there might be one in the 
in the dungeon itself. But there's no overworld ones I believe that we're going to get today. So that'll have to wait. I'm getting to a point now where like, I feel like my level of recklessness can go up just because of how many hearts I have. I don't have to try. No, I'm always trying. Always trying. Always putting in the best effort for the fans. All right, Guardian Acorn and Peace of Heart in the same episode. The game thinks I must be incredibly inept. So you can't push through that area. Instead, we have to carefully traverse this avalanche here. Or I guess it's more of a rock slide. Avalanches require snow. Oops. There's another secret seashell. That's nice. Pick that up on our way. We currently have 18, and we need 40 to get the ultimate prize that we're after. So keep that in mind. More rupees that we don't really need. And an expansion pack. So this is our final visit to the little devil, three of three. Before we got bombs, then arrows. So now we can pick up our final resource addition. We are ready. We are so ready. So now we're given the ability to carry more magic powder in the same vein as bombs and arrows, but you only get 40 uses, which I mean, for being completely honest, I don't know why you would need 40 uses of powder. So, moving forward, the powder is an item that you do need for the final boss of the game, one of the phases, but beyond that, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm bad at this game, I'll be honest. I'm not showing off highly skilled gameplay, but I've never need four. Okay, I lied. Here's another heart piece. So we got the heart container anyway. Woo! Guys, we did it. So there's also another fall down secret that you can grab there. We'll get that when we come back. But yeah, 40, 40 uses of powder is kind of a lot. Don't breathe that, kids. For magics only. Okay. So this is why you need the mirror shield. You can't come here prior to getting it. There might be some sort of you know, sequence breaking shenanigans you can do. But other than that, the mirror shield is required for that moment. And you can come right back here too now with that warp. So I guess that's kind of handy if you want to do that. I don't know. I don't know why you would, but hey, whatever you're into. Don't let me stop you. I'm not trying to kill your vibe. Let's pop in here to the booth. So basically what that's telling you is in similar fashion to the way that we were able to wake the friendly rooster, we have to use Mamu Song again. It's a very circumstantial situation. Take out these weird pterodactyls. Don't need those guys. So this is the entrance to Turtle Rock, but it seems like we're going to need to put a little buggy into this fossil. So let's go ahead and play our song. Oh, we done did it. Woo. All right. So here is the turtle rock guardian. I don't remember. Okay, so you need to use bombs. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? We've been breaking up for fragments and rocks. When when it charges at you, obviously, it's going to stun itself. You can see that. It's a living creature underneath that we are... Exploding its face. Okay. So, in doing so, we have exposed it. I 
guess you can't use the boomerang. That would have been cool, but... This is a... I think this is kind of cookie cutter. I believe this is the original kind of setup that you had from the last game. This isn't a really tough fight. It just kind of... It's just tedious. It takes a little bit. There we go. I think that was three cycles, four. Did you get a fairy out of it? That's pretty cool. And if you remember, we have that extra bottle, so we can nab that fairy. That's pretty nice. Pretty cool. So we can head into the dungeon now, but because we have the warp, we can pop down here really quick. I don't remember what this says. Okay. I don't know if there's a seashell here to be dug up or not. Probably not. I'm the ever optimist. I wouldn't have done this if I had to climb back all the way around and go get it. That would have been really annoying. But... Okay. Well, that doesn't seem to be too bad. Alright. So we can do that. That's pretty cool. And while we've got a little bit of time, as I'm thinking about it, we have the warp to go into the dungeon, which we will do. But... There are a couple of items that you can get from the eventual prize station. I don't know what you want to call it. From depositing your seashells. So we'll do that before the eventual collectathon where I get everything. So prepare yourselves for that one. That one's going to be a bit of a doozy. Any leftover pieces of heart. Any fish. Necessary fish. Mind you, there's quite a bit. Any extra seashells. So before we do that, we're actually going to go and grab a couple of seashells. Actually, I don't know if... Well, that might be... Is that 20? Let's see. No, it's 19, so we need one more. The actual prizes that you get at this part of the game are capped at 5 and 10. That's when you get your first and second prizes. Once that's done, then... It's nothing until 40. And then you get the satisfaction of being such a winner. When you get all 50. So we're definitely going to do that. So that's pretty exciting. We love prizes. I don't think that we have an active figurine. We do not. So let's go pop into the trendy game really quick and nab one of those it's more fun to do a dungeon when you when you got toys to play with while you're waiting to kill monsters right let's see what we've got so oh there and there's a piece of heart okay neat so we will play so that is a shy guy which has been present in a handful of the dungeons so far I believe the Bottle Grotto and then also the Face Shrine. I think that's the two that you see Shy Guys in. Let's see if we can nail this on our first try. Pretty easy. The hitbox for that Shy Guy is pretty big, so that's pretty, pretty easy to do. Let's see if we can get the piece of heart in the same way. You're going to wait, want to wait till it gets pretty much to the far side, so that way when it slides in on the platform, it nabs it right away. Ooh, this is going to be close. Ugh, that's a bummer. At least it's easy to, to fix, hopefully. It did kind of land on its side a little bit, so I might have screwed that up. Okay. So let's be very precarious here. I feel like I screwed that up. Yeah, that's not going to grab it. I almost feel like I can't move it ahead of it at all. Might just have to go straight to the right. Let's try it one more time. We might have to reset. Just ever so slightly. That looks a little better, but I feel like that edge of that piece of heart being lifted might be tough to scrape it up. No? We got it. That's looking pretty good. 
Apparently, pieces of hardware are metallic. It did kind of make a cling clang sound. All right, so we got a shy guy. That's fun. <laughs> Just don't ask what's under its mask. Wear your mask, folks. Wash your hands. Kiss your parents. Comb your beard. Brush your teeth. All wise words. Okay, so. Now that we've done a little bit of progress here, we can make our way over to the collectible area where we can deposit some of these seashells. We will be picking up the 20th one, which is an arbitrary number now. I was of the belief that that's what you needed to have in order to get the ultimate prize. Because that's what it was in the original, but because of the expanded list of seashells and them being easier to obtain, it's not the same. Yeah, we already helped you. No time for the little mermaid. Not today. All right, out of my way, Zora. All right, you're being a bit of a jerk. There are only jerk Zoras in this game. Some games have nice Zoras. Not this one. Only jerk Zoras. We don't need that. We don't need that in our life. All right. So, this is the area where we will eventually be depositing all 50 of the secret seashells. We're going to give up some of them right here right now. So I don't know if you guys caught that, but that's a neat little side effect of the mirror shield is that it bounces projectiles back at enemies. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we could have come here when we had 15. I was under the impression that you needed 20 to get what we're eventually coming for, but I goofed, so forgive me, please. But there's a warp here now. So when we do finally get to that mark, we won't have to worry about that. We can gather up two prizes right here right now. You can see there are little plateaus. So standing on this platform, fills up the seashell mansion with some sort of goo. I don't know. But we have 20, which is not quite enough to get us where we need to be. It does appear that there is a prize at 30, and I don't quite remember what that is, so we'll pop back in. We'll be doing all of this, obviously, before the final boss. But five... We'll net you a heart piece, 10, or I think that's, is that what that is? 5, 10, maybe that's 15, I don't know. I can't count, I didn't come here to play school. This nets you a new item for this game only called the seashell sensor. It makes a little ping sound when you get close to it. I believe there's rumble with that too. So that's nice, helps you to find them. I mean, there's a lot in this game and it's not, some of them are kind of tricky. That's pretty cool. It would have been nice to have figured that out sooner, but that's fine. So the only place left on the map that we haven't explored is the actual windfish egg itself. So we'll come back to that. That will be our finale. Gonna do a collectathon episode and then a little bonus episode of the new edition in this game. So there it is already popping up for us. I guess I could have figured this out. This is a very subtle location for a seashell. Kind of reminds me of the shrine sensor that you got in Breath of the Wild. Now, I don't know how people felt about that. It was obviously pretty useful, but hearing that boom, 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 did get kind of annoying after a while. So, pragmatic, sure. Annoying, also sure. Excuse me. Send you back to the Stone Age, sir. Can you just, can you just, excuse me. We're trying to, we're trying to work here and you're making this a hostile and toxic work environment. Okay, so everybody, next time we're going to tackle the eighth and final dungeon, get our final instrument to wake the windfish. And then in between then, we're gonna do some fun cleanup collectible episodes and then a bonus episode. And then we'll be all set to finish this gosh dang game. Thanks for hanging out everybody. I've been D-Mike. Have a good one. Bye.